What's up, everybody? It's Soren Baker. And I'm Slink Johnson. You're here on the gray area, y'all. All right, Slink, so one thing that we do just on our own that we've been doing over the years, man, is always talking about rap. And one thing that we always talk about, or often talk about at least, is uh, these underrated rappers, man. Yes, yes. There are so many underrated rappers and Absolutely. so many overrated guys who rhyme words that don't really go together and make melodies out of them. Or that makes sense. I don't want to call them rappers. For, yeah, or makes sense. No, no, nor do they make sense. So, yes. Yeah. So let's get to some of these dudes, man. One dude that we both think very highly of that's both uh think is very underrated is Sai the Prince. Oh so, yeah. for you why why does he make this list? Sai the Prince is 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 so underrated. I mean my guy his lyrics are so layered. Yes. I mean he rhymes six words in a sentence and and and, and the, the the damn sentence will have two or three meanings. Right. And and the guy he, he's just Hands down, one of the most lyrically dexterous MCs out there right yeah. now. Like, there, there's not getting the, the type of exposure he deserves. Dude got bars. Absolutely. Bars on top of bars on top of bars on top of bitten bars, man. And he's been doing it a long time. And then recently with the two Black History uh, projects. But the first one I thought was phenomenal. And then on the second one, he had the Weak People song. And uh, when uh, me and X had the radio show Open Bar Radio on K-Day, we were playing that on Open Bar. And the thing is, like, that song doesn't really fit what we were normally doing, but the song was, like, phenomenal. We had to play it, and the lyrics, it was just phenomenal, man. Like, he's got, like, the social commentary, he's got the punchlines, the double, triple entendres, oh, the wordplay is immaculate. It's, it's crazy. Yes, that's exactly it. Immaculate. I mean, there's nothing... I have, I have nothing ill to say about Sai the Prince's ability, the way he puts his songs together, the way he puts his rhymes together. I mean, the dude, I, I can't even quote anything because I'm still trying to, to, to <laughs> dissect it. I'm <laughs> right. still trying to dissect the lyrics. It's like, dude is, is an amazing, man. Yeah. And Kanye got a diamond inside. Well, I don't know if he's still there or not. Yeah, no, he had the it. Elephant in the Room song uh, that he had come out that basically, you know, was kind of, got kind of, mixed reactions, mixed understandings, because it's basically dissing Def Jam and Kanye, but then they were like, oh, it's not real. But I don't know, man. Like, I just saw the title for that song on, online right here. I was just looking him up. And I got to check that elephant in the room joint out. <laughs> However, it's pretty wild. <laughs> Sahai is Sahai is easily, hands down, one of the most underrated MCs in the game, man. Like, the dude is, his lyrics are magnificent. I, I I I don't know what to say other than just pure magnificence. I mean, the guy, right. he got a great voice. I mean, I, I I dig voices. I dig voices. Right. Sai High got that gravelly type of. Right, right. But it still got some finesse to it. You know what I mean? And the guy's by no means a dummy. I mean, he, he definitely knows his his. his he is. He went, the, he went to English class for sure. <laughs> <laughs> and he paid attention. Anyway. But he, but the great thing about him, to your point, is like he has that edutainment level that we had from the golden era that we really saw like explode in the in the late, the mid to late '80s, and that we see certain artists continue that today. And he definitely has it, man. You're right, and I'm glad you brought that word of edutainment because when you when you're speaking on 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 Sai High the Prince, edutainment has to be a word that's used often and regularly because yeah. he will educate you and keep you entertained at the same time. Dude is dude is lyrically one of the dopest, one yeah. of the nicest. And shout out to Boogie Down Productions Karis One for that album, Edutainment. Yes. Rather phenomenal as well. Now speaking of another artist that uh, just came out with a new project that I know that you feel very highly and very passionate about that we gotta bring up is Schoolboy Q. Definitely. So for him, Obviously, he's had huge success, but to you, he's still underrated. And why is that, Slim? Schoolboy is, you know, Schoolboy is underrated not by a fault of his own. Okay. In my opinion, you know, although he's he's received worldwide acclaim, I'm talking about my guy. Shout out to Schoolboy. I see you, young group, doing right. your thing all over the world, man. Schoolboy comes from a camp where he's in a camp with Kendrick Lamar. Right. <laughs> so I, I really think that Kendrick Lamar's light is so bright mm -hmm. that sometimes you don't it get to obscure see, school it, it, it obscures cool school boys right 
a light that is equally as bright, but it may be a different hue. So some lights shine a little brighter than others, you know what I mean? And that's, that's not to have any kind of negative connotation of somebody, you right. light skin or dark skin. I mean, light and energy. And, you know, Kendrick Lamar is definitely hands down another one of the most skillful MCs in the world. However, I feel like the rest of the TDE camp is underrated. Beginning with Schoolboy, the rest of the, 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 the TDE yeah. camp, because everybody's checking so hard for Lamar, Kendrick Lamar. Rightfully they, so. They forget. Rightfully so. <laughs> yeah, but, they, but they forget that. J Rock is a monster. The J Rock Ab is a monster. Ab Soul is yeah. a monster. Q is a monster. Yeah. And there's it, so many monsters at the TDE label right now. I mean, that guy. That's they. They should change the name of Top Dog Entertainment to the Monster Factory Records, cause them them <laughs> dudes, them dudes got some monsters coming out of TDE right now. Man. Yeah, man. I mean, I mean, I remember when J Rock was on Warner Brothers and like just hearing his music back then, and I did his first bio. Uh, thanks to uh, Richie and Top Dog for that back in the day. But uh, I was just like, man, J Rock is like amazing. Like he has great stories. Talk about a voice. He has a phenomenal voice. And the way, you know, he's representing Watts and, and bringing that different perspective even within L.A. to the table. Mm -hmm. And um, incredible. Which okay. leads us to our next person, Slink. What is that? Vince Staples, uh, man. Long Beach. Long Beach in the house, man. Now, Vince Staples is, I won't lie to you and say I'm very well versed on what he's doing. However, I've heard a few of his songs, a few projects that he's been featured on. And yes, the, the young dude is definitely doing his thing. Right. I'm really feeling his name. Vince Staples, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Coming out of Long Beach, man, the boy is, he got that edge, man. He got that street edge, but he's, again, lyrically nimble, man, and, and I like that. And just like we were talking about with Sahai, like, Vince's lyrics are so layered that, like, you get the punchline, but then when you go back and think about it, mm -hmm. it just hits you even harder, man, because you're like, wow, he really, Vince, to me, is like a dude that would have come out in the golden era and like been one of those guys because he's so lyrical and he's bringing this social commentary in with the punchlines like sci -Hi, but Vince is doing it from way more the gang, hood, Long from Beach more, perspective. From more of a, from more of a, yeah, from more street. of a, a street perspective. Yeah, yeah. Whereas, you know, nothing to take away from sci -Hi because he's definitely street too, but, but sci -Hi has a more, uh, 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 Pan African perspective, right. I think. I mean, I would he has a more he has a, a more pro black message, and I really enjoy both of them. And that's the thing about artists too. I want to say while we talking about underrated, a lot of people like, you know, a lot of people will compare artists. When in all actuality, me, my personally, it's hardest for me to compare artists because I like what they bring to the table. As like, I can't compare a, a, a sci high and a schoolboy, and that's not to say that you, right, right. but because these guys are both bringing their own what brand they, of yeah. flame to the table. Now, if you have if you have one rapper and someone who's clearly biting. That's a different ball game. That's a different ball game. However, you got all these different styles yeah. coming from these different parts of the country, man. And these guys are definitely not getting the type of shine they deserve. Yeah, man, and I think for those that don't know, if you know Vince Staples but haven't listened to him, man, you need to go back and listen to Versace rap. That was the first song. Uh, his that blew me away when I heard it uh, probably four more than four years ago now and that song like lyrically dude is just phenomenal and the way he brings in politics religion the hood the legal system society it's just amazing and like his own inner family workings like his mom and his dad and his relationship with each of them and how that was influenced by his dad you know, being incarcerated, being on the streets, and his mom being very religious, and like all these different things going on that he weaves into all of his albums up through Summertime 06, and he's about to put out a couple new projects pretty soon. It's phenomenal, man. So, you know. That's what that's what I like to call intelligent rap. It's a lot of intelligent rap that isn't getting the type of shine it deserves. Exactly, man. Because, again, you're not talking buffoonery. I mean, these are actually dudes that are speaking clearly. Right putting right. words together, very, very clever words, very clever punchlines. And concepts for the concepts. stories. Oh, definitely. So that's intelligent rap, but you know, sometimes people get caught up in the way it looks as far well, as the package, the way the package is delivered visually. Visually and also lyrically, because of course, back in the day, it's not as big of a deal now, but back in the day, people be like, oh, they're cussing, they're using the N-word, they're doing whatever, so they're not gonna respect it. But when you look at like Vin Staples has a song 6500 on a health and weight EP and he's basically breaking down like how bad 
gangbanging is and how like looking at it, everybody's looking at it the wrong way, the dudes that are in it. And he's basically telling you like, you know, the only way for this to survive is for us to die. Cause that's how the gangs, you know, keep perpetuating. Wow. Dude, it's amazing. Wow. So you gotta listen. And that's why Vince Staples is one of the most underrated, man. Like he's phenomenal. Y'all need to listen. Well, today we showcase Schoolboy Q, Saha the Prince, and Vince Staples. In the comments below, tell us who you think is underrated. And not only that, if you, especially if you disagree, you gotta tell us why. And if you agree, break it down, man. Cause me and Slink just ran through it, but now it's your all turn. Don't be getting on our shit talking shit and think I don't know how to read IP addresses cause I'm gonna be there at your motherfucking front door with a blunt and we gonna talk about this nigga. Yes sir. And that's why we here on the gray area. I'm Soren Baker. And I'm Slank Johnson.